With the absence of GBWC this year, the Gunpla Expo Tokyo 2020 is set to become the biggest and final Gunpla event of the year. And so many new products coming out for Q2 and Q1 2021 has been announced by Bandai today. It is not going to be easy to cover all of them in this video. So I'm structuring it by grades. We're going to be covering the high grades, real grades, and master grades so on and so forth so they will make it a lot easier for you guys to follow all the upcoming new releases and also with addition to all the new kits coming up i've also put in their pricing their release dates so anything that's been officially announced by bandai will be shared in the description below okay and if you're new to our channel hey please consider subscribing to our channel and leave a message to say hi in the comment section below. As you can see earlier from the high grade key that's been announced, there is the Dagger L, I think it was from Gundam Seed S3 and also the Gundam Death Side that's coming out. Articulation seems to be a lot better and of course a revised proportion compared to the previous one for, for scale generation. This is definitely something that I think kids of Gundam Wing fans would definitely would want to buy. But of course, the biggest news today was the release of the high grade Z Gundam. It's been so long, everyone's been waiting for this until so many people got fed up. There were so many third party kits being released for the Z Gundam, but in one 100 scale, and those kits are highly detailed and also expensive as well. So I'm just kind of glad that Bandai finally released a 1 144 scale. But I do find it strange that the colors on the Z Gundam pictures looks a little bit muted. Maybe that's just me, but you know, I always expected Bandai to release kits that has a lot more vibrant colors. Maybe it's just the way it's touched up for the official release. And of course, there is a very big package being released by Bandai coming soon, where you can actually buy both Z Gundam and also the Penelope together with the final effect set in April 2021, going for a whopping 17,380 and that's close to about 165 US dollars. It's very pricey and you know, if you're a big fan of these two guys, you probably would buy them anyways. But for me, well, I'm just gonna wait for Bandai to release a one 100 scale of these two mobile suit. When? I don't know, but I'm sure it's gonna be coming out in the next couple of years. This was the biggest surprise um, to me. I'm sure that a lot of you guys are also waiting for this as well. Remember a couple of years back when Bandai released the Reborn 1 100 scale Nightingale? It was huge, it was expensive, and it was a brick. For, for someone who wants a gunpla that doesn't have any great articulation i think a 144 scale nightingale will do given that even though it's a 144 scale the nightingale is still going to be larger and bigger than anything else now this one was a quite surprise this was the gundam grimori a new mobile suit design coming up from the upcoming iron blood and orphan anime so is this guy the protagonist antagonist I seriously don't know but the overall design still retains the very mechanical look and feel from the Iron Blooded Orphan series. It does look really badass and the use of um, red and blue really is quite interesting together with the uh, helmet on top of the head. Doesn't look like your typical Gundam so I'm not too sure what is going to be the actual code name of the product so the Google translation here may not be the best. This is what I really like. This is the Gundam Geminus 02. This is the Land Battle Heavy Equipment Pack. It's a premium Bandai. And to be very frank, it looks really good. It gives the Geminus 02 a bulkier and heavy weapon feel. Um, unfortunately, you know, I don't get a chance to buy the Geminus 02 because it is a premium Bandai. But I think if you have the Geminus 02, this expression pack is definitely a must-have. The final two high-grade kits that's coming out is a revised version of the Zaku 2. It looks exactly like what has been released before under the 144 scale, but definitely they have improved the articulation somewhat in so much so that it kind of looks and feels like a high-grade 1.5 without the details 
and the part separation. So being able to create the Iron Man pose where you know he's bending the one knee and having the hand touching the ground to pick up the pilot is quite impressive. So for those of you who are big Zaku fans, you know, if you have not built the real grade, which I really love and I have that as well, this is something that you might want to check out. Articulation looks pretty spot on. And finally, the pale rider. This was something that I didn't expect, but this is going to be a premium Bandai, the Pale Rider Cavalry. It's a premium Bandai with no announcement of price or the release date yet. The overall look and the big weapon is definitely the biggest draw. And if you look at in terms of the leg as well, the additional thrusters does make it look and stand out a lot more compared to the normal Pale Rider. In case you guys didn't um, see my previous video, we actually reviewed the Pale Rider Space Type Expo Clear. That one is still available for purchase online in Malaysia. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link down below. Now let's talk about the other grades that's coming out. And one of my favorite grades are the rear grade. This was expected and finally it is here sooner than expected to be here, Frank. I'm glad that Bana is finally releasing the high new coming out sometime in summer 2021. Pass suppression wise looks really good but it doesn't seem to have a lot of details going for it and to be very frank when I look at the funnel I'm just wondering whether are those actual parts or will those be decals so if you guys have done decals especially on curved parts you will know it is quite a pain and challenging to apply so this is definitely something that I would buy when it actually is released by Bandai. Unfortunately, there's only two real grades being announced by Bandai for Q2 and Q1 2021. And the next guy is the real grade Wing Gundam Spring 2021. Looks pretty good. Great color separation. But again, in terms of details, I'm kind of surprised there isn't a lot of details at what we've come to expect, especially from the real grade line. But the yellow here that they've used for this Wing Gundam, it looks to be a little bit more TV slash anime accurate and I really dig that. So big Gundam Wing fans, you should probably be start pre-ordering this when it's available for pre-order. This is going to be a regular release and not a premium Bandai release. There are two new Master Grade coming out and I think this is the biggest announcement compared to what everybody is talking about. The Rear Grade High New and also the Z Gundam High Grade and that is the Master Grade Gundam Virtue. Double O fans rejoice, you know we've been waiting for a long time to get and complete the four main mobile suits from the series. So can't wait to see how they actually incorporate the gimmick of two separate mobile suits into one. And I'm sure the price is gonna be quite high as well. The other master grade that's coming out that's brand new is the Mark V. Unfortunately, looking at the pictures, it, the details and the past separation doesn't seem like a master grade kit to me. It kind of seemed like a reborn or high grade kit in terms of pass separation and also proportion. Something is just a little bit off in terms of the Mark V and I hope Bandai continue to work and change the design and the final kit that's going to be announced in 2021. Surprisingly, Bandai also decided to rework the Master Grade 1 100 scale dorm and rig dorm. So from the official picture so far, I would say that you're not going to be expecting better pass separation because it looks almost the same as the previous um, design but proportion wise and articulation they haven't yet to tell us what is new or what has changed but i am sure that for them to rehash the old dom and brick dom into a new master grade release for 2021 there has to be some new gaming some better pass separation and articulation incorporated in there. There aren't any added details added into the kit, so we'll have to wait and see what Bandai actually has in store for the DOM and Rig DOM coming out in 2021. Now, the other Master Grid that's coming out is actually expected, it is based on the Luna Mario Hawk and Gundam Seed series, and that is the Mobile Suit Gundam Jin. So, this guy looks, sorry, not Gundam Jin, Mobile Suit Jin. It looks okay. Um, again, this together with the Mark V that was shown earlier, both of this Master Grade looks kind of off to me from the official pictures. The colors looks a little bit muted and 
there really aren't a lot of details or past separation that we have come to know and expect from the master grade line so hopefully this is not the final pictures and there will be more changes and improvements coming out for the mobile suit Jin, which is surprisingly not a premium bandai kit this is going to be a regular release in 2021 the next master grade that's coming up was something that i think i will avoid like the plague this is the master grade Gundam f90 unit 2 the colors just burns my eyes i i can't stand this bright maroon or purple whatever you want to call it it's just way too bright and i don't see how this fits into my collection i mean even the evangelion purple or maroon whatever you want to call it does it's not so bright as what we have seen in this f90 unit too so if you're a big fan of the f92 I, I think this is for you but this is going to be a premium bandai purchase now uh, for those of you who bought the f90 before and you've been following all the separate expression pack from a to z there's going to be good news the i expression pack is finally released and is coming out sometime next year as well and of course as with all the um F90 mission pack has been released over the last year. It is again a premium bundle, but this time this is quite an affordable premium bundle expansion. Only 2,200 yen. I'm just glad that I didn't buy into the Gundam F90 series because to be very frank, to collect the A to Z expansion pack is going to be quite expensive and I, I, I don't know whether I have so much money to buy all the different expansion pack and buy all the different F90 kits to build and equip them with. Um, I'm wondering how many of you actually bought the MGEX Unicorn Gundam Master Grade Extreme. Uh, apparently, there's going to be a new version coming out. Well, not really new, but it's a version TWC. So, this is going to be a Tokyo based edition 27,500 yen. The only difference is there's additional decals and you know. I guess that's about it but if you have not bought the Master Grid Extreme Econ Gundam and if you are planning to travel to Japan in 2021 this is something that you can buy when you visit the Gundam Unicorn at um, Odaiba right Odaiba series you can actually buy this Master Grid Extreme last but not least I think this is probably the one that I think um, true anime fans would really want this is the Master Grid RX-7-2 anime colors but they put this tag as in perfect Gundam version anime colors it looks really good I really dig the anime colors of the white and the bright orange yellow and the bright blue as well so yeah if you're a big fan of the original design I think there's something that you probably would need to buy if and when you visit Gundam based Tokyo so yeah unfortunately there aren't a lot of master grade kits being announced for 2021 so it does seem like Bandai is not putting a lot of focus in the master grade line as what we've seen from previous years finally we are covering some non-grade item and something new that's not Gunpla this is the 148 scale RX78 F00 Gundam bus 5280 yen seems a little bit pricey but from the official pictures of this bus it definitely looks really good with the finishing on the paint on the decals and also surprisingly it actually lights up the head so you can actually buy this and use this as a nightstand or as a display on your office desk i just kind of wish that it also lights up the chest but it doesn't seem like it has any uh, lights on the chest or any smoke gimmicks coming out from the chest as well but it definitely looks really good and for those of you who have been following our channel since two years ago remember when they actually showcased the auto transforming unicorn gundam bus well it's finally a real product coming out soon 40 centimeters height and it's going to be pricey i think this guy is gonna cost easily 50 to 100 thousand yen easily right given that it changes um, colors from green to red it also transforms automatically and Bandai also made it clear that this is a auto transformational product which makes me think Bandai will probably release one without the engines and the servo as well so I think that one will be interesting for Bandai to release 
two separate version of this unicorn bus and hopefully this will be a normal line that Bandai will actually focus on because to be very frank as Gunpla fans if you want to collect a Gundam bus today it is actually quite hard to buy right you usually have to buy those uh, Ichiban Kuji or you have to buy the for new Formania line which is very very expensive so hopefully Bandai will continue on the bus Gundam bus line and also announced today at the Gunpla Expo, we've seen this before, this is the upcoming 1-100 scale. Surprisingly, I thought it was a master grade, but it is not. It is a normal 1-100 scale Freedom Gundam version SH. And if you're wondering what is version SH, this is the version Shanghai. It's actually a special limited edition made for the China folks. So that is actually coming out very soon as well. And surprisingly, Bandai is also releasing a 1-100 scale Calamity Gundam. Again, I'm not too sure whether this is going to be a normal high-grade, non-grade or even reborn 1-100 series. But surprisingly, the amount of details going for a non-grade 1-100 scale kit, it looks so much better than the earlier Mark V and the Mobile Suit Jin that we've seen earlier. I'm, I'm seriously quite surprised. It actually almost looks like a master grade kit to me. Well, hopefully Bandai would make this guy into a proper master grade in the near future. Going on to the final line, which is the SD line, Super Deformed. Looks like this year Bandai is moving back into the Japanese historical um, war. I, I don't exactly know what is the actual theme for it, but it looks like the anime is coming out sometime in April. So Q2 2021. All the new SD Gundam line looks really good, right? Obviously, this year it was all about Three Kingdoms based on the Chinese um, folklore or actual history. I don't really know. For those of you who know, please let, it, let me know down in the comment below. But what is interesting about the SD line this year it seems like almost all the Bobo Suits design have a very unique look compared to the one of yesteryear. And what I mean by unique look is, if you can see here from the Nobunaga um, Gundam, right? It seems like he's wearing a very nice cloak. And all of them seems to have that cloak from all the different coming upcoming characters for this show. So I'm not too sure how this is going to pan out, but for those of you who have built SD Gundam before, do remember that the colors here, as you can see here, especially on the gold, you will not get this final gold finishing. You will definitely need to paint it because usually what happens is this kind of gold coming in for the SD Gundam will be decals or stickers, which looks really, really bad. But I really do love the V-fin on the Nobunaga um, SD Gundam. It looks really, really aggressive and very traditional at the same time as well. Also coming up, this is the SD Sergeant Gundam. I don't think that is an actual name, but I really do like the amount of um, clear parts going in for the head as well. If I'm not mistaken, this is based on the Buster Gundam. Looks really good in this blue color, but the goal, again, that is my biggest concern. Will, will, will it be a separate goal or will it be a pure goal finishing on the SD Gundam Sergeant? So I know a lot of you here don't really like um, SD Gundam kits, but if you actually look back into the SD Gundam heritage, it was really big in its heydays, right? I think back 10, 20 years ago, it was actually even bigger than the actual line of the Gundam anime itself, which was, to be frank, quite surprising. You know, they even had their own anime based on the SD Gundam series, and suddenly, you know, that just kind of changed and we went back into the original Gundam anime line as well. So yeah, to be very frank, most of the Gundam you see here are relatively affordable for the SD Gundam World Hero series, 600 plus yens, but there are some that's coming out that is going to be a little bit more aggressive with our official name so far. Now this guy looks like he's based on the Crossbone Gundam design, which looks really good. But my only concern here is almost every SDS Gundam that you see here all have that element of gold and yellow, which is my biggest worry. Would those be awesome looking clay parts or would those be stickers? Very, very concerned about that. Now this guy is probably the one that I'm actually quite um, interested in. The head sculpt design of this guy is very aggressive. It kind of reminds me of looking at the Predator, uh, you know, wow hair design. So it kind of incorporate that a little bit. But again, as you can see here, a lot of gold, a lot of white, 
for all the last four to five main characters and that we've seen so far there is so much use of gold in the SDCS line I just kind of wish that Bandai have a lot more variety coming out for the SD World Heroes Gundam and finally and I think which is probably the most uh, unique and exciting look as well is this guy official name is not announced yet but this character from the upcoming Gundam World Heroes actually has the traditional um, Gundam sorry not Gundam but Japanese mask sitting on the side of the head of the character itself so you can see here there's a character of the wolf and this is of course it's going to be a shinobi ninja gundam base so looks pretty interesting and looks like bandai is not giving up on the sd line because 600 yen it is definitely a lot affordable and i think the range will not go too far from 600 to 800 to 1000 yen for this series so easily affordable but you probably will need to paint all those silver into metallic gun metal definitely look a lot better as well the final SD kit that's going to be announced uh, today in the next Shinjuku Gunpla Expo is the SD Freedom Gunpla version SH. Again, this is the Shanghai version of the Freedom Gundam in SD form. Not too sure what is the release date plan or even the price, but as we have mentioned before, this is only available for the China market when you visit the Freedom Gundam that's going to be standing in Shanghai very very soon finally before we go i know it's been a long video and i thank all of you here for following me towards the end it's the perfect great gundam unleashed clear body expo uh, sorry clear color it's interesting that um how good it looks to be very frank this clear color body for the pg unleash the biggest surprise is the price uh 4950 and it is a lot cheaper than what i anticipated to be very frank i kind of thought that the clear body parts is going to go for a lot more than that and i think that if you're buying the pg unleash the clear body armor parts definitely is a good idea because this time around the inner frame looks really good and it really showcases the engineering of the entire perfect great kit that you know i think when people see this they will appreciate the actual uh, effort that us Gunpla fans take into building the kits as well, right? So that's our video for today. I think definitely a lot of new kits and a lot of new excitement things is coming out. For me, it is the Virtue Gundam. I really am very happy about it. High grade Nightingale, real grade, high new as well. And I think everybody will probably be buying the uh, Z Gundam for sure. But I would love to hear from you guys, you know, what is the one product that excites you the most? Is it the Auto Transformation Unicorn Gundam Bus or is it something else? So do sign off in the comment section below and I'll see you guys very very soon for our next video on other collectibles and more. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys stay safe. It's almost coming to the end of the year and let's start hoping that next year we can start going out again and also enter into GBWC our annual gathering event as well. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video soon.